By the way, the TSX started off about 767 points down, so not not a good morning. And I know, Tyler, we're going to be talking more about what's been happening. Uh, China yep. crashing as well. Uh, Shanghai down more than 8%. So just a dismal, dismal day. No, so not, not great for investors right now, Sophie. And, but you also brought up, you know, the Canadian dollars down right now. Mm -hmm. But that is having some benefits, especially for retailers here in Canada. Uh, obviously, we're gearing up for back to school. And um, a lot of Americans are being lured up north while Canadians, uh, they're, they don't have much dollar power down across the border, so they're staying here to spend their money. Now, uh, a report from EY projects that back-to-school uh, spending will be up about 4% this uh, coming month because uh, more disposable income among Canadians. We're looking at uh, low interest rates as well as lower gas prices. Uh, and here's the thing. Um, a lot of these uh, buyers, like uh, London Drugs, for example, they told us that uh, they bought their uh, seasonal supplies like duo tanks, crayons, markers. They bought them months ago when the Canadian dollar was still stronger. So a lot of Canadians are benefiting from kind of the stronger prices back then. The, 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 uh, the savings is being passed on to them right now. But keep in mind that, I mean, there are some sort of uh, seasonal products, or I should say more consumable products, um, like printer ink. I, I mean, that's going to be more expensive this year because the Canadian dollar just does not have the power to buy it from, you know, those uh, south of the border suppliers or uh, suppliers from other countries. So there is a bit of give and take right now, but overall, um, it's good for retailers who are expecting to see a bit of a bump, especially with cross-border sales. Um, Army and Navy, they say that their Langley outlet is most aff affected by cross-border shopping from uh, U.S. Uh, buyers, and they're seeing a, a big sales bump so far at that particular outlet. All right, thanks for that, uh, Tyler. Just before we let you go, just a live shot of uh, New York right now. Let's see what down 546, uh, 543 right now. So a little bit of a recovery, uh, down 1,000 as the markets open this morning. And again, uh, a big crash in Asia, uh, down just across the board, Tyler. So we'll talk about that with you in our next hour. Absolutely. Okay, thanks, Tyler.